Hey guys, Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. Got a big old cup of coffee this morning. And it's those dark and nasty, but I'm very excited because it's some go-go juice from you know what. All right, but the big reason for this video is that yesterday when I did my uh, little trek north from Charlotte, North Carolina up to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, I stopped at a bunch of different Walmarts and picked this stuff up right here. Now this is uh, a new box cover for the American Eagle 223. 55 grain full metal jacket and a lot of people had some questions is there a difference is there a difference in the name is a difference in the ammo I you know and, and I can't answer that question because I really haven't opened it up to really look at it now I did this look at the primers they appear to be the same so the purpose of this video is we're going to dissect one of these things from the box down to the bullet and see if there is a difference I know a lot of people want to know before they take the they either don't order online or go to your different stores, either buy this. Now, the interesting thing is that the Walmart, these were $7.44. They were still on the shelf. These were $6.44. So let's take a real quick look at what we got here. First, the if you can see right there, one says AE, which I stands for American Eagle 223J, and one says AE. E American Eagle 223M. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that stands for, but we're going to find out here real quickly. It does give you the feet per second. It's 3240, which is the standard for 55 grain, pretty much. Same thing there and there. Lot numbers. Now, if you guys know something that I don't, please feel free to chime in here, man, or help me out. Let's go ahead and open one of these things up. Now, I do have some boxes over here that are already open, and I'm, well, I'm going to draw from. This box right here was one of the ones I bought the other day, and uh, I went ahead and sealed it up because I just took the uh, round out. But what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to identify one of the pieces with a piece of tape so that we can keep them separate. All right, so the one that we're going to identify with a piece of tape is going to be the new box. Okay, so hold on while I go get that tape. Here we go. All right, so the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of painter's tape and I'm going to just put a little mark, put a little piece of tape on it so we can tell. All right, there we go. So we know that this is going to be the new box stuff. Go ahead and open up the older box stuff or a different box stuff. I don't know. All right, so this is the older stuff right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera in real low so you can see exactly what I'm doing to these things. I'm gonna pull the rounds out of the casing. Then what we're gonna do is examine the powder. We're gonna weigh the bullets. We're gonna measure the bullets. I'm interested in seeing if these are boat tail or not. So anyway, let's go ahead and bring reposition this camera. Stand by. All right, I felt, kind of feel like an arthroscopic surgeon doing this like this. Alright, so anyway, here are the two rounds. And I don't see any difference in the brass. Let's go ahead. I'm going to weigh the first one. This is the old one, okay? And what we'll do, we'll go ahead 12 grams. I wonder if the tape would make a big difference. Let's see. 12 grams. Alright, no big deal there. All right, so we're going to take a look at the primer. There you go. Now, a gentleman the other night said he thought that these were crimped. As you can see there, again, there's the tape. And this is just a good measure for everybody to take a look at what we're looking at. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pull the round out of this casing first, and then we'll pull the round out of the black box. There we go. And that's what it looks like right there. Other than the marks from where I damaged it from pulling it out. All right, let's see gram-wise. Four grams. All right. Well, I'm not going to be able to measure that out on this scale. One gram. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do, let's take a look. This is the powder. That 
is in the new box stuff. All right, so I'm going to set that aside again. Let's take a look at it one more time. Pretty neat. All right, now let's open up the old casing and see what it looks like. There we go. Pop a few things out of there. There's the old round. It's amazing that that little booger right there has so much power. It's flying. All right, so this is the new box. This is the old box. You guys take a look at that. There's a tad difference on the back side. See the leg core. This is the new right here. All right, well, that's it, guys. That is the dissection and the examination of the two in comparison, uh, old versus new. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do this afternoon, this will be in another video, I'm going to do a test. Now, I've got the pickle with me, which is the uh, precision rifle, which is actually up for sale right now, if anybody's interested. But um, anyway, we're going to do an accuracy test between these two to see if one spreads more than the other. So we'll do a uh, 10 shot grouping just to see what the consistency is between the two of them. But we're going to do that uh, tomorrow afternoon. We'll post that video this week. But guys, that's it, man. Not a whole lot of difference between the two, except for price and the box and the nomenclature. One says M, the other one says J. All right, guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe. For those of you who don't follow the channel, sometimes you may hear me say G-Lock or Glock or mispronunciate Glock. It's a joke. I do know how to pronounce Glock. I just don't own one yet. Jim. <laughs> Code Boy 32. Support the boys in blue. And as always, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. It's Code Boy 32. You guys take care. Out.